uh, G.I. Joe just turned up and is buying some ice cream. Awesome. Wow. You are just a giant walking the earth, aren't you? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Market Tycoon, where obviously I'm starting to decorate the place. So I would like to get all of this in a red. Let's get this to go like this. High time we decorate it around here. It's long overdue. Let's get that to go like that, and then all of this can go down. Come here. Come. Come here. Go all... What, what is your problem? Be red like I told you to be. There we go. Okay, so the market is a little sparse at the moment. We don't sell much, mostly beer and ice cream, and most of the beer goes to the local constabulary, and lots of kiwis. We're very into kiwis around here. You know what this needs? This needs an accent wall. Something different. How about we did this and say, what is, show me this. Show, what does that look like? Yeah, I can broadly live with that. That's okay. Um, I know things are being sold and we should probably restock the shelves, but I'm a little more focused on decorating right now. Um, show me some floors now, please. I'd like to see what we could do with the floors around here. Ooh, we've got some different patterns for that. Show me that. I like that. I do like that. Show me something else, though. Uh, show me that. Show me that, but in darker. Eh, that's kind of basically exactly the same thing, isn't it? Did I choose the same thing? I probably did. Well, show me this one then. Ah, gotcha. That's a little bit lighter. That looks a little more grocery store. I think we're going to go with that. And we're going to do it in this obviously very haphazard pattern that I've created. Well, that is just looking better already. Very bright, very airy in here. This is the sort of grocery store you'd want to go into. What's going off in the near future? Just the apples. Just the apples. 21st, those are going to go off. We've got about a week on that. That's fine. Those can sit there for right now. We are selling some of our beer, which is excellent. I'd like to get, well, some more stuff, basically. Show me, show me fridges. Maybe we get into the refrigerated game around here. And show, oh, there's Fireman. There's a Fireman, and he's buying a lime. And then he's buying some ice cream. That's an interesting combo. And now what? Please not the beer. Oh, you bought a kiwi, I think. That's excellent. Good. I've got a lot of those, and they're probably going to go off soon. All right. What if we did... Now, this is going to cost me some money here, but what if we did a couple of refrigerated units? Uh, say, I don't know, like, like over here. Like, I don't want to put it too near the door. No, that doesn't seem right. Put that there. And then I want to... Uh, a thousand bucks for one of these... Well, 900 anyway. Uh, I'm going to get another one. This is going to cost me a lot of power, too. That's the thing. I'm going to put one of these guys down right over here. Now, what could we theoretically put in here? What could we get? Uh, what would go... Well, show me... Can't... No, show me dairy. Yeah, because I want stuff that goes off really, really quickly and spoils. That's what I want around here. Um, actually, the eggs will last a month. That's not bad. I could see that. Let's get some eggs, because everybody likes eggs, right? Or do you do you not live in the fridge? What why do you why do you not live in the fridge? What is wrong with you? What if there were just less of you? What if I made less eggs in here? Would you like that better? Oh yeah, you would. You would. Okay. So we've got 36 now. How about we did just say 30 eggs? 30 eggs can live in that freezer. All right, get out of that and get something else in there. We've got a lot to do. Butter. That's going to last a month. Okay, sure. People love butter. Uh, have 60 butter? How about there was less butter than that? Yeah, I think it's better. I'm going to do 30 butter. I think it's better to get less items, but they don't go off, and we just have to restock them faster rather than more items, and then they go off and they're spoiled. We definitely don't need... Under no circumstances do we need that much cream cheese. There we go. 45 cream cheese. I think that's a much more sensible number than what it was, which was 100 things of cream cheese. Baby milk. Do people like babies? Do they want to give them milk? I've got to think about this from a marketing perspective. Do people like to feed babies more than they like butter one or butter two? I don't know. We don't actually... I mean, I say we do. we make three bucks on this, but that's not that great. We're buying it for 15. The butter, we almost double our money, basically. 
I'd rather have that. What else have you got in dairy? Milk. Everybody loves milk. It only lasts a week. So, and we're doubling our money on that. When we buy it for a dollar, we sell it for two dollars. I'm going to get some milk. 49? Uh, how about we drop that a tiny little bit to, say, 30? 30 milk can live in there. It doesn't fit in the fridge. Are you kidding me? Uh, try a different fridge. How about that one? Really? How about if there was less of it? Nope, this is just flat out the wrong fridge for milk. That's, that's fine. That's, I didn't want milk that much anyway. Yogurt. Everybody, everybody loves yogurt, I think. Uh, obviously, we're going to need quite a bit less than that, though. All right, yogurt is in play, and I'm just going to send Roman off now so he can get started stocking all this stuff up and anything else that we have less than half of, which is our quantity limit right now. If we've got less than half of something, Roman will go buy some more and stock it up. Now, back to the dairy cabinet over here. It's actually not that much dairy. I've done yogurt. We've done... How about some margarine? That's going to last four months. That is an, an outrageous amount of margarine. Bring that down a little bit, please. Now, Roman's pulling in now. I'm kind of... It's not really much more dairy that I want to put in there, so I'm going to start fleshing this out. Oh, God, it doesn't fit. Wrong fridge. I was going to start fleshing this out with some beverages, but that may not be the case here. I'm sure if the apple juice doesn't fit, the grape juice and the fruit punch won't fit either. Green apple juice, no, probably not going to work either. I could put some more wine in there. Nothing goes with butter number two like white wine. All right, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll just leave that as is. You know what? I'm going to come back to dairy. Roman, good man. You, you, sir. Oh, here comes that cop. Last time you were here, you bought beer on duty. Are you? No, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I've rumbled your game now. You're like, doot, 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 doot. Nope, not buying any beer. Not a cop on duty in uniform buying beer. No, sir, not me. Well, how about we got maybe a different fridge that I'm going to assume will hold beverages. It looks like it holds beverages. And in fact, you know what? You know what? This should be your big impulse item. This should live right here next to the register. Pretty much every grocery store I've ever seen has a little cooler and a little, you know, like beverage thing right next to the register. So you're like, oh, hey, I could totally do with a cold drink on my way through the line here. And I grab a cold drink. You know what this game needs? A magazine rack gotta have a magazine rack by the register everybody buys magazines wow you're buying a lot of ice cream man maybe just chill on that yeah grab some fresh fruit please oh that guy just spent 36 dollars in here good deal okay back to beverages yeah we'll we'll probably sell 300 of something sooner or later all right here we go do i just go back to beer i mean that's kind of my inclination here how about we did okay we're gonna do some lemonade soda it's gonna last for ages no problem there Put that guy in there. Um, and then what else do we have in here? Hopefully lemonade soda is a big sell around here. We don't really have any idea of the popularity on these things yet. Melon soda. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm going to have less of it for a start. But we're going to give it a shot. We're going to see how that plays in here. Put some melon soda in there, Roman. You won't yet because I haven't told you to do it. But yeah, hope springs eternal. And some orange soda. That This is just soda, soda, soda. There is nothing healthy going on here. Um, what else have you got in the soda department? Uh, more white wine. Uh, no, I'm thinking maybe... How about we'll do these lemonades in here? That's a pretty decent amount of that. Oh, it doesn't fit there. Does it fit over here? Does it fit anywhere at all? Where would you like me to put the bottles of lemonade? Could I put them? Well, I've already got those racks. I'll put them somewhere. Never mind. It's all fine. Everything's 100% fine. Can I put the apple juice in here? That'd be nice. Uh, Nope, not there. And we know it doesn't go over there. Roman, sorry, man. I'm going to try and find something for you to do. Well, each rack does seem to be hyper-specific in what it will take. So I'm trying sardines in here. Uh, not doesn't work there. It doesn't work there. Okay, there is a very real limit. This thing only seems to largely take cans. And by largely seem, I mean that's that's what I got in here. Go back to beverages. We're just going to have to stock this up. You know what? Throw some beer in there. Put some beer in there. Why not? Beer is a can. That beer is in a can. Therefore, it will sit in there. And put the cola soda in there, too. Uh, there we go. Okay. That at least is filled up. Oh, speaking of which, I should send Roman back to work here. Roman, you're off break now. Go get some cans of stuff. All right. Show me what you got in decoratives game. What do you have? What is that? That is... I'm not sure. What, what is that supposed to be? 
that like a little divine? Oh, is it like a little sign that we put up somewhere and said, hey, something's on sale? Looks like it. Okay. Uh, no, I don't really want that. Go to uh, go to different things. That's definitely a sign. Got some plants. Okay, I can work with plants. Got lots of plants. Got a fountain? Really? Show me. Show, show me what this looks like. I don't really... Wow. Okay, we've got a fountain. I kind of like it right in front of the register. I'm not going to put it up right now, but we're going to definitely keep the idea of the fountain kicking along. But right now, I'll just go with some basic plants. You know why? Plants don't consume power. So let's get a plant there, and then maybe some different ones could be, like, flanking... Oh, that's very tiny. That that That's way too tiny. No, that's not going to work anywhere at all. How about this guy? What does this look like when it's at home? Uh, okay. All right, I'll put this one over here. Uh, G.I. Joe just turned up and is buying some ice cream. Awesome. Wow. You are just a giant walking the earth, aren't you? Are you getting by on all those kiwis, man? That can't be... Can't be all you're eating. I'm seeing a heavy protein diet in here. Oh, right. And um, Dora the Explorer came in, too. Excellent. Good. I want to see if we can get rid of... Hey, what happened here? Why are we out of apples, Roman? Roman, what's up with the apples? Uh, you know what? We do not need 890 kiwi. That is just a little bit silly. No, we don't even need 400 kiwi. Not even 300. How about... Way, way, way less than that. How about there was maybe 60? 60 kiwi is something I can live with here. Wow, that is, um, I didn't realize I had quite that many kiwi kicking around. I've also restocked the apples here. I'm not quite sure why Roman didn't get on the case with that one. Um, but Roman, uh, Roman, Roman, here you are. Uh, go get some more fruit, please. Let's take a quick look at advertising here. We can do direct mail, newspaper, online, magazines. What's a oh, word of mouth? Okay, word of mouth, gotcha. Radio, very good. Billboard, television, very, very nice. Hiring people to talk about your market in a public place. How much does that cost me? 260 bucks for a week? Well, that's not bad. Somebody go out and talk about Dave's awesome supermarket here. And maybe that'll get some more people coming in. I also want to take a quick look at maybe doing a sale. Now, we know that the police in this town are really keen on beer. So what if we did Cheap Beer for Cops Day? And you, if you're a cop and you come in in uniform, you can buy beer at a discount. I don't actually think I can specifically make it for cops, but let's give them like 10% off. I'm going to add that. One item is on sale. You're darn right it is. Now, how about the canned beer? Let's also give that 10% off. Two items. Seven days? Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and confirm that. Okay, great. Cheap beer for cops. One week, all the beer is on sale. 10% off. 15% if you show up in uniform. Roman, why are we not getting things stocked up here? Restock everything you're supposed to be doing. Did we really need 300? I do. Wait, hang on. I do not need 2,016 limes. All right. Well, they keep for a really long time. So I'll put the little stand sign up here. And as soon as I put it down, I can put something on this. We can advertise something over here. Could we advertise the cheap beer? Because that's pretty much what we want to focus on around here. There we go. Let's put the beer pack right on there. Yep. There's your beer right there. If you're a cop, that is your impulse item. Heck, if you're anyone, that's an impulse item. And there's some beer right in the fridge, and there's some warm beer over here. You take your pick. I did flesh out a little bit more of the dairy case. I actually think I'm just going to sell one of these, because there's not enough variety of things to put in two. So I think I'm just going to get rid of one of them. Yeah, I've got butter, eggs, creme fraiche cream cheese in here. I am, I am going, all items will be lost. Boy, that is a, that's some money I'm losing there. Okay, you know what? Maybe I'll just wait for that to be sold out and then I'll get rid of it because I'm assuming I don't get my money back if I sell everything. Wow, that's a lot less kiwis. Kind of hard to see now, but they'll, they won't go bad quite as quickly. Oh yeah, that lady went right for the beer. Right over there, saw the sign, said, you know what I need? I need some beer and some ice cream. Good choices. Good choices. Excellent. Not healthy choices, but good choices nonetheless. Six bucks? Really? 
Wow, our beer is cheap. What kind of rack do I think I need for non-perishables? Show me this one. It's, it's kind of hard to see what this is. What do, what do I think lives on that? I'm looking for, I want to put like canned goods up and stuff like that. I'm going to get this guy because that definitely just screams canned goods. I'd like to get this. I want to mess with pathing here. Um, the, the mayor's here, apparently. Because you have to have a top hat if you're the mayor and vice versa. You can't be the mayor without having a top hat. So the mayor just showed up, hopefully bought some beer. Hopefully this is not going to mess with anyone's pathing. And I think I only want one for right now. My instinct is to put one back to back there, but I don't have unlimited money here. Okay, show me some canned goods. Canned beans. They're going to keep for a year. A year we're going to have these. Yeah, throw some 75. That's fine. I've got a year to sell them. This is no problem at all. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the bit where we got more canned goods. Okay, canned chicken soup. Absolutely put that there. Actually, you really want the chicken soup at eye level because it's a kind of an impulse item. Go ahead and put, let's put corned beef away at the bottom, shall we? Nobody needs that much corned beef in their life. Pork luncheon meat. Also way at the bottom there way at the bottom. Roman, I got a lot coming up for you to do as soon as I go through the rest of these canned goods. Sardines, you say? Eh, you know what? Nobody. Nobody on the planet needs that many sardines. How about there's 34 sardines? And good old spam. Ooh, 384? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm sure it's a fine product if you're into that sort of thing, but maybe not quite that many. How about 84? About 84. That's a sensible amount of spam. What else you got living in here? Tuna and tuna too. Well, everybody loves tuna. Well, mostly my kitty loves tuna. I don't hate tuna. It's, I mean, it's fine. It's totally fine. A little bit of mayonnaise and you're in. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not my go-to thing. All right. That's stocked up. What could we do, say, with grains and pastas? Instant rice. Is, oh, G.I. Joe is back in. Good. Uh, instant rice. That's going to last a long time. Put some of that up in there. And what else you got kicking around in here? Pasta penne or rotini or spaghetti or just regular rice? Well, we've got the instant rice. We may as well round that out with some regular rice. Doesn't hold many, obviously. Big bag of rice there. And just some spaghetti. How about some spaghetti up here? And then um, more spaghetti, more pasta. That will flesh that entire place out nicely. That's going to be a good rack. And it's going to keep for a while. Uh, Roman, tons of stuff for you to go get. Wait a minute, you're telling me cans of tuna that I haven't even purchased yet are going to expire tomorrow? It's canned tuna. It basically lasts through the apocalypse. You can't possibly be telling me. I don't have any of them, I know. I can get the pears expiring. All right, that makes sense. I bought way too many pears. That, that's fine, I can fidget with that. Are you just putting this up here because it doesn't ex No, canned tuna does not expire that quickly. I don't I don't actually know that it expires, period, when it's in a can. We'll see. We'll see what happens when Roman gets done here. All right, Roman has been dutifully working on what is possibly the corned beef or the spam or something like that. It might be the tuna. Uh, for about a day, about a day, I think I need another stock person. I think that would be the best thing I could do right now because we got a lot going on and... Roman, as good as he is, and he's very, very good, just can't possibly keep up. What if we wanted to hire someone who might be in the job pool? Around? Oh, wait, I can change your uniform? Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, wait a minute. Forget hiring anyone. This is great. Um, okay, both of you guys are going to wear... The, why, why do you have two different shirts? I would like everyone to wear exactly the same shirt. Uh, so yeah, female is going to wear that. I actually love that color. That is a gorgeous color. We're going to keep that. Actually, go to... I see what we're doing here. I see what we're doing. Okay. I actually think I prefer the first one. Give me... Uh, yeah, the button up. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. This is your uniform. Have we set this now? Is this locked in? And, or Roman, you can wear, I'd like you to actually 
Roman, you know what? You deserve a suit. You. You deserve a suit, sir. Roman, you gonna go put your suit on? Are you gonna are you gonna come go put your suit on the next time you come in? Cause Madison slash Robert changed into his slash her shirt. You gonna you gonna go put a suit on? I, I can't wait to see you in a suit, Roman. Uh go get some more things. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to train Roman for fifty bucks to be a little bit faster. All right, I don't know if that takes him off duty while he's training. I mean, I would assume it kind of would. And in the meantime, I'm also going to hire another stock person. Uh, yeah, I know, 50 bucks. I'm hemorrhaging money. It's it's all going to go bankrupt soon anyway. Don't know why you're bothering to even put the numbers up there. Uh, John, what's your deal? You're kind of terrible. Uh, Zoe, also terrible. William? Uh, actually, William's pretty cheap. William is pretty cheap. Sarah? You're kind of mid-range, but more expensive. Nicholas, you're very, very experienced. You cost more, but I think you might be worth it. Nick, you're in. Right, so Nick showed up, and he's flying. He did not put that on his resume. I am very, very impressed. It doesn't really help when you're stocking things. The ability to fly... I'm going to tell you, Nick, pretty much everything is on the ground. Now, your ability to move a box without touching it by gluing it to your chest, that is absolutely something you should have put on the resume. But what you should be doing is doubling up and actually carrying a box in your hands while one of them is glued to your chest. I think that would be better. And even better, Dame Judy Dench came in to buy some beer. Unfortunately, Nick is kind of blocking her on the way out. Really, really pleased about your knighthood. I was, I've always been a fan. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting training Roman now because it has indeed taken him off duty. And again, understandably so. Now, we've got flying sticky chest Nick here to take up the slack, but the whole point of this exercise was to have two stock people on board so these shelves would finally get filled up. All right, well, when Roman gets back, he's going to be a little bit better at things. Now that we've been open for a while, we've gotten a little better idea of what's hot and what's not. I can only assume that the negative signs are bad. It's like limes are really not popular right now. What if, what if we just took that down a smidge? What if it was like 10% off on that? Now, potatoes seem to be doing well. Those are a plus sign. Is anything else better than that? Is there any good plus signs around here? Wow. Nobody likes food in this town except potatoes. It's just dismal around here. Okay, and some of these are so new, we have no idea what their popularity even is. Some of them are not even stocked yet. All right, well, what if we bumped up the price of potatoes just a tiny little bit? Just like that much, 5% more. That's all, just 5% more on a potato. Not that bad. And, of course, the month has ticked over, and we're bankrupt. We are hemorrhaging money. Welcome to the channel. I am bankrupt within my first month of business. Guys, that is probably an excellent spot to call it on Market Tycoon for today. We will pick up a little bit more of this again next time. I really just, if I can afford to, I'd like to see if we can just kind of finish the store off here and flesh it out and... Obviously, wait for Roman to come back. My most valuable employee is off getting better at being more valuable. But we'll do a little bit more of this again next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm going to go embrace my fate. And I go give fate a big old hug. Just walk up and tongue kiss fate. Robot, how do we rescue you? I I don't I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. Citizens drop go, everything is under control. This is this is not a fire. This is not a fire. This is an no, aggressive I mean, urban redevelopment enough. program. Hey. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them. It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish?